Welcome to another episode of Riverside Reflections. The reflection today comes from the book of 1 Kings, chapter 17, verses 1 to verse 8. In this scriptural passage, we have Elijah being given a command by God to take a message to the king. Elijah goes and he declares to the king, that there will be no rain or dew until he says so. What trouble Elijah has now put himself in, but he is there because he followed the commands of God. There is blessings. There are blessings for following the command of God. And God takes responsibility for our sustenance, protection and success when we follow his word. The Lord immediately knows that Elijah needed to be protected. And he says to him, retreat now to the brook of Cherith. Elijah may have wondered, why am I going to the brook of Cherith? But God immediately says to him, I have commanded the ravens to feed thee there and you will drink water from the brook. God knew that Elijah needed sustenance after delivering that powerful message to Ahab. And he provided food in the morning, food in the evening, and water for his servant to be sustained. Christian friends, this tells us that whatever God commands us to do, he takes responsibility for our sustenance. But life is not lived in straight lines. The Bible tells us that this brook suddenly dried up. Did God abandon Elijah at that brook, at that riverside? No, he didn't. He again came and said to him, go on to Zarephath. It just tells us that God is able to work and overrule every natural situation because he is God all by himself. Therefore, I want us to take away from this Riverside Reflection today that when God commands, he takes responsibility for the success. What we need to do is to cooperate with him. May we reflect by the river today and purpose in our hearts to cooperate with God because he takes responsibility for the success of his work. Father and God, we thank you this morning for your love and your mercy and your grace, but most importantly for your reassurance that you take responsibility for us when we follow you. Do help us and strengthen us to be able to follow your word through your son's name. Amen and amen.